I will say this movie coincides with the substance in that I can say I enjoyed the premise. I was very entertained. I enjoyed myself. I think the acting is pretty good. And this would be on the side of horror movies that release this year that are better. But I feel like that does not say much. Hello everyone, my name is Max Aaron James. This is a review of the movie Never Let Go, written by Casey Coughlin and Ryan Grasby, directed by Alexandra Aja. This movie is about a family, a mother and her two sons, living in a house in the forest, and they are being haunted by evil that cannot enter or penetrate the home, so they're living safely in the home. However, as time goes on, one of the children is starting to question whether the evil is real, which threatens their safety. I first want to note that the two child actors that are playing the brothers did a really good job in their performance. I mean, seldom we get child actors that are able to deliver something that is notable. In my opinion, I have not seen many. And here, you really do. And if you start questioning whether they are giving a good performance, there is a third child thrown in here for about five minutes, and you see how they interact with one another, and you're like, oh yeah, these, these are good actors. Because the other child... You know, and Halle Berry here does a pretty good job of what is given to her. And no matter the film she's in, it feels as though she's really putting effort in. And I really appreciate that. So I really liked her performance here and I liked her character. I was fully invested into the story. I was really intrigued. I think it was an innovative approach on this idea of being haunted and trying to protect your family. And I like the idea that the mother is the only one that can really see what's happening and understands the real threat and how how dangerous this threat really is. And what can happen if the threat is able to get a hold of someone. And with that, of course, the children can do nothing but trust in their mother because they cannot see it and have never actually seen any evil. It is in the final act that we really start seeing the cracks in the story or more so the limitations when it comes to the writing. Or I would not even say that they were limitations. I would say that maybe they were doing a bit too much. It really starts leaning on the, is this real? Did this really happen? Is this real? And it, when it enters into that realm, often movies end up losing their focus and they end up with more interpretations than they need, which leaves you with some questions and ends up with some plot holes. Because of the two interpretations I got, one of them implies that the mother was lying about something in at one point in the movie and the question is, why would she lie about it? What would motivate her or lead her, what incentive does she have to withdraw or withhold this information or this truth? Or is it that she does not know as much as she should know? But I don't, I, I don't think, I feel at that point, we're kind of starting to just throw stuff to this movie into this narrative that has never been shown or told to us. And I don't like when we do that because it feels like we're kind of justifying mistakes in the storytelling. When it comes to my second interpretation, it lends itself to be for one i just don't like if it was down that path or if it is that interpretation and also i think that it kind of drags on a bit if it is my second interpretation i'm trying really hard not to spoil this the movie could have been cut down at least five minutes it kind of drags on a bit at the end i think there was a much better ending potentially there that Maybe could have been bleak, bleak, may have come off as bleak, actually it is just bleak. But I think that still makes for a good story. It makes for a good ending. It's very brief, you get to it, and when it ends, you're like, oh shit. Anyway, that's all I have. I like the way it looks, I like the directing. Again, I like the characters, I like the acting. I think it has really good moments, it has really good elements, it's creepy. It has some moments that feel uneasy. There's a lot of questioning even for the audience, you're wondering, is this really happening? Or you start to question along with the children, what is real? I really appreciate when movies are able to do that. It just, I wish this ended stronger. And I think this movie is something that I would be willing to watch again because I enjoyed myself, but it's not something, I wouldn't feel bad or be let down if I never got a chance to watch this again. Until next time, y'all take care of each other, check up on one another, make sure you check up on yourself, and remember, potential has no limit.